And that's basically the meal. You can see half chicken with sweet potato fries slash wedges. Today we're making homemade Nando. So what we're gonna do is get some Nando sauce. Uh, I don't know which one I want. Medium or hot. Alright people, when it comes to the sauces, there's two you can choose from. There's just a normal Nando sauce and there's the, par uh, the marinade. Uh, in essence, they're basically the same thing. The only difference is really that this one can be used as a dipping sauce as well as just for like the chicken. This was more just for like kind of when you'd marinate meats. But so basically I'm gonna go for that one because I can use it for other uses other than just for the meats. Finally, the sweet potatoes. Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna basically be making what I would normally get at Nando's, which is a quarter chicken and sweet potato wedges. So basically we're gonna make a home version of it. It's more cost effective. Okay, while I'm prepping the food, I've got the oven preheated. Uh, this is already skinned off, but there is bits of fat which I will chop off as well. If you go to your normal uh, kind of Tesco, whatever, normally the skin's on. I don't advise taking the skin off, even though at Nando's they do keep the skin on. But as I said, this is going to be a more cost effective and more healthier option. So I'm going to cut off some of the fat and also some of the chicken guts as well. A lot of people forget, like, you don't want the guts in your food, so it won't taste as good. So I'll chop off the fat and then on the guts and get back to you. Okay, this is more or less personal preference, but I always wash my meat. <laughs> wash my meat. I always wash the, uh, the chicken before, purely because it's kind of like a culture thing. A lot of black people do this stuff. Uh, feel free to skip this if you don't want to do, but I will be uh, washing the meat. It doesn't have to be anything long, literally just to wash it, just to more or less wash off any blood, anything like that. Obviously, don't splash everywhere because you know it's going to infect in everywhere else. And don't forget to wash your hands after you do this step as well, because you know you don't want cross contamination. That's the right word. You don't want that cross contamination. So so yeah, make sure to wash your hands after you do this as well. And let the chicken drain off because you don't want it like really watery. Okay, I'm also going to wash the potatoes because I'm going to be eating the skin, so be sure to do this. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the edges, uh, just because I hate the edges. <laughs> then for the actual potatoes themselves, I'm going to half them. And half them again. The main thing you've got to do here really is when you cut them, try and make sure they're at least the same sort of thickness because that allows them to kind of cook evenly. And what we're going to do now, the main season I'm going to do for the sweet potatoes is literally just mixed herbs and cayenne pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Dab of mixed herbs. And don't worry if you miss some of them because what we're going to do is more or less get our hands involved and we're just going to more or less mash it all together. And voila, that's basically how it is so far. Okay, so what I'm also actually going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, purely because it might add a little bit of flavour, so leave it only a little sprinkle. With the sweet potatoes, normally I do leave the kind of heat pretty high, because I like them to kind of crisp up a bit. Uh, so you can see, I leave it more or less around kind of there, 250 over 200. It normally takes around 25 to 30 minutes to cook on the heat that I've just told you about, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So while that's cooking, I will prep the meats. Okay, when it comes to cooking the meats now, what I'm going to be using is the Nando's hot sauce I got, all purpose seasoning, the mixed herbs, uh, not forgetting the cayenne pepper, and these are the only things I'm going to be using for the chicken. Okay, for the order, really, I don't think it's a massive preference, but what I always do is I always put on the seasonings first and the sauces last. And my logic is more or less, I kind of think that the seasonings kind of stick to the meat underneath the sauces, and the sauce kind of seals in that magical flavour. Oh, I sound like it's Jamie Oliver. Okay, so right now, all we're gonna do is now use the hands. Sometimes I do, sometimes it's good to like make love to the fucking food. No weirdo intended. And uh, basically, just kind of mix it up. So basically, all I'm gonna do is make sure the seasoning gets on most of the chicken evenly uh, before I start applying the sauces. This is gonna be a professional video release in the vlog. This is where I like to not be too generous because most of the seasoning does the most of the work. This is just trying to give it that Nando's kind of taste. Usually, I'd normally, what I've put on chicken already, I just use. But as we do a Nando's video, add in some of the sauce. And then we just put it on the pan. And there you go, I just use a big piece of chicken, especially these two, so I'm calling dibs. So yeah, that is how easy it is to make the meat. Also, this will be in the oven for once I've put the meat in, I usually turn it down to between 200 and 150 around them sort of heats purely because you don't want you want the chicken to cook from the inside as well. You don't want the outside just to turn out like bra quite brown, but the inside still be like pink. So at least turning down the heat a bit allows the inside of the chicken to cook through properly. Okay, what I'm going to do now is turn over the stuff. Um, first one easy is the sweet potatoes. All you gotta do is flip these once, uh, really. 
and just so you can see what it looks like, that is the kind of colour they tend to be. Kind of like a light kind of yellowy orange to make sure they cook totally through. Obviously the potatoes, so it's not like a massive worry, it's the meat where you need to make sure you're on point with. The meat now. Oh. Okay, here's them so far. These normally take around, because they're larger pieces of chicken, they probably take more like around 45, 50 minutes on the heat that I've been cooking it. All you gotta do is flip it. I normally do flip them twice usually. Uh, so basically it's my first time flipping it right now. And a good way to keep, kind of keep checking if it's cooked is either to cut, slice in some of the meat and make sure it, uh, the, the juice is running clear, there's not blood coming out. And then also the final check I normally do is to slice a piece of the meat and just make sure that the meat's more or less uh, white and it's not pink on the inside and then you're more or less good to go. And um, don't forget to wash anything that you used to. Okay, the food's basically cooked now. All I'm going to do is I've just dolloped on a little bit of the Nando sauce again on top just to give it that glaze. I'm going to put it in the oven basically for like another probably five minutes just so it, the heat can not make separate over the whole chicken and then we're basically good to go. And there's the chicken. As the uh, fries cooked earlier, like before them, I covered them up. So we got sweet potato uh, fries, chips, and the Nando's. All right, and that's basically the meal. You can see half chicken with sweet potato fries slash wedges, whatever you want to call them. And this whole meal, technically, the whole thing costs like seven packs. So including the sauces, costs around nine pounds. And I've got two days worth of meals. Half chicken and chips and Nando's normally cost me around 12 pound 10, if I'm correct. I think I go there too much. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more recipes, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and comment below if you thought it was good. See you in the next one.